What good YouTube and welcome to the house. You may want to order Gold Series right now using code What's Good Five for five percent off and to support the channel directly. Anytime we get reveals like this, all of a sudden pre-sales seem to disappear. And over at Gamer's Choice with code What's Good Five for five percent off and to support the channel directly, you can get Gold Series down to just around. You've got five mini boxes per display and four displays at twenty dollars and ninety cents per little tuck box when they MSRP at around $30. That's almost one third off over here, and I do not think this deal will be lasting. Also, you have it over at tier zero. Remember the difference in EU and US, there are six tuck boxes instead of five, meaning there's four more per case. So do the math there, but there's free international shipping over at tier zero. Now, Konami EU let all their Yugi tubers put up their videos today. Very smart by them, considering vendors will be getting it in today and tomorrow over in the EU in terms of their orders. And I think spoilers would have been happening anyways. So check out these Yugi tubers. They're the sources for these pictures. And we start with access code talker. He's real. All the memes, all the you know things over on Twitter, but he's actually real, just not a ridiculous alter art. Now, all too often in these videos i feel like people don't cover the gold letter rares or the back end i feel kind of bad for baby sarasaurus you know conductor tyranno over raptor you get the upgrades baby sarasaurus just another color letter rare we've seen this purple green the duelist leaks but here a gold letter ultra no foiling ah i feel like it got the dirty blue eyes now in terms of collectible ends we see in here in its lob art and that's pretty darn awesome i like this art i know not everybody does and blue eyes and dark magician being added in here spoiler will actually add to the lineage of the previous gold series tying them together a little more making people more excited about the past ones out there so for people like oh i have the old ones wow just another one no a different art actually does matter quite a bit speaking of different arts bigfoot altar art looks like this abominable snowman yeti which is often a different version of a big foot i do really like what they did here we have rescue cat looking amazing this was in those initial leaked spoilers and i am still just a huge fan scrap chimera actually shows konami's kind of foresight when looking at reprint sets remember that gold series as well as brothers of legend were pushed very far back so konami often looks ahead as is but these are pushed two three months back versus their initial release dates brothers might be four at this point but all things aside that means konami was able to pinpoint yeah this would be a high demand card to buy this point and put it in the set dark magician lob art as well i i really like these kinds of choices by konami now this one not so much dolka was already down to like a dollar from king's court another printing here although lagia is in here also i don't know if i took a screenshot of that giving pass formats dino rabbit other things cool options to actually look at I like that they prevent it from becoming expensive again, but filler should also be useful like this. It's just weird timing after such a recent printing of Dolka. Dude, I love the art of this golden lord. He's just laying back on the throne like, yes, continue to combo for me. My resources continue to gain themselves. Mascarena, we already knew was confirmed in here from set description. I theorioed that golden golden lord might get an alter art in here, and I am so happy that it actually hit. Exco Talker is actually a huge reprint in the gold rares because this did not have a reprint at all, and it was bubbling towards 9, 12. You were spending way too much for this cover card so seeing a reprint of it is pretty darn nice exodia code talker players cheaper cards exodia looks awesome in gold rare he's had gold rares in the past and here we can definitely see the highlighting and how good it looks pot of extravagance was the initial huge reprint where people were like yeah gold series starting to take off but we needed something bigger like access code talker and we did get that firewall dragon finally a cheap access version of the errata with the altar art not veiled behind ghost rare good job konami cyframe gear gamma a nice more budget reprint i mean if you got in early on toon chaos you were getting it for 75 cents but now you're able to once again get this a little bit cheaper i know it's a super tiny picture but alter art ghost mourner is indeed confirmed 
Verte is one of the biggest reprints also out here with access code Talker into this set. I think it's very good that we are seeing Verte reprinted as well as dual overload cards. It's been almost two years and it's about time we get around to those. Again, I just wanted to highlight how freaking cool I actually think that looks. It looks really nice. Now, in the gold letter rares, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss, as well as Lieb are also not, you know, reprints to be scoffed at. Lieb was going back towards $20, and Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss was getting bought out. Invocation also in the gold rares. We begged for this last year. We got it this year, along with the Altar Art Lina. I do think that Invocation is very, very, very solid to be in here, and last year's gold series had no short prints, so we're hoping this year's has no short prints, right, Konami? There were half prints, though. Blue Eyes, as well as Dark Magician. And then anything that was an altar art would become a whole print because the altar art would be a half print, and then you would have the regular art be a half print to make a whole, you know, you were still pulling as many Ash Blossoms as any other card. But Dark Magician and Blue Eyes were half printed, and that's why they were so much more. Nightmare Unicorn looks amazing with Ib. Yo, we've got that World Legacy lore coming in hot, looking really freaking nice. Nice. I, I respect that one. Mask Reina again confirmed. I took just a bunch of screens, so some of this might be repeat. Makaba also to match Invocation, the other expensive part of the Invoked Engine. Sign at Mining in the Gold Letter Rares. This was getting expensive again, and this should hopefully bottom it out to be a dollar rota for uh, Cyverse here for a good long time. We have Ghost Mortar in regular art as well, and then Pot of Extravagance leaking behind it. Neo, so it wasn't just just Diamera hype, Diamera hype, Diam. Why is it always Diamera? Neo's got a little bit of love, and I don't think it has too many holographics. I know that the 10 version of this is actually very dang expensive, so it's nice to actually see Neos here. And then the import cards were indeed the number binder cards that I predicted in a video a while ago versus the set description. Nobody was talking about it. So the numeronious cards that are $300 paywall locked in the OCG with no other printing, well, here they are, an easy access gold the ocg may actually end up buying some of those from over here depending on how they feel about gold series i haven't asked like anybody how you know the people over there do actually see maximum gold do they like it dislike it you get the double sleeve or do you have issues with it but versus spending 300 dollars to get access you might see ocg folks asking for that Cyframe Lord Omega in the gold letter rares is also very nice. Alter Art Plasma confirmed. Alter Art Red Eyes confirmed. And finally a holographic for Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon Alter Art. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they released it as common even though it was on the siding of the freaking product it was released into. As well as a gold of the regular art. We have Giant Rex in the gold letter rares. Gold, gold sarcophagus. Verte all over the place in my reprint folder. And that's about it from what I'm I have covered so go look at some of those videos for yourself definitely decide if you're buying maximum gold pretty much right now after watching the video and maybe after a couple others because this deal will be disappearing at how good it is and as we've seen with almost every gold series that is worth ripping open over time those prices tend to increase 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 maximum gold itself has hit that point where it is going and this will probably blow it out having the legacy successor actually be freaking thumbs up and good well, Konami, once in a while you hit it right, and I think you did this time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the conversations. I always, you know, am critical of Konami, so I like to give them props where props are due. They've been killing it with this gold series set. It feels like the 2019 office person who was in charge of a lot of products gets behind gold series, and they're, whoever's coming up with these set lists, really spot on for some people's least favorite rarity.